but Yogi connects, and it's another homer. He was as quick with his bat as he was with his tongue. I said it's not over until it's over. Yankee legend Yogi Berra had a way with the English language that had even presidents quoting him. It isn't over till it's over. We may be lost, but we're making good time. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. He also said if you don't know where you're going, you might wind up someplace else. Well, the kid from St. Louis wound up a legend in New York City. A winner, a gutsy player, uh, a guy that they, they didn't think he was going to make it because he was a short guy and they just thought maybe he just didn't have what it takes and he proved them wrong. At Yankee Stadium, fans remembered the player who stood out on teams with legends like Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio. Here comes the pitch, strike three! His most famous moment, catching Don Larson's perfect game in the 1956 World Series. Three MVPs, right? Ten world championships he played on. Nobody else ever did that and never will. Oh, you know, he was an icon. He was an icon uh, for baseball. He was an icon for uh, the city in New York. Who didn't love Yogi? Everybody loved Yogi. For all his prowess on the field, it was his personality that won him just as many fans off the field. He used his Yogiisms as a TV pitchman. You know, since this place starts serving Miller Lite, nobody comes here anymore. It's too crowded. He's even said to have inspired Yogi Bear. Look at the bears, look at the bears, look at the bears. Sheesh. The Yankees will honor the Hall of Famer by wearing black armbands with his number eight tonight when they face the Toronto Blue Jays. Funeral arrangements haven't been announced. Those considering going should remember Barra's famous warning. You should always go to other people's funerals. Otherwise, they won't come to yours. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.